Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gaming. And this week's episode we have a lot to go through. We have some beautiful vehicles, we have a KFC, we have cows and a trampoline. Sounds bizarre but let's see what's going on. Let's do this. So let's jump into it with these beautiful trampolines by De Casa. Now I'm really loving these random props that are coming into the workshop recently. I mean, who would think that you'd be placing down some trampolines at this point in the game? It's a beautiful addition to your back garden and something to keep the kids quiet with. And also this week, the Casa released this beautiful, beautiful bridge. This is the one you probably noticed already, it's being used by Creative Dex in this current series. Now in this set you will get a straight and a curved version with four different colour variants on the poles in the middle section. A fantastic bridge, just something to add a little bit more depth into your city. Now I don't know about you guys but this one really brought back some memories. I remember downloading the original Party City in my British Challenge series and that was when I was really getting into detailing and really taking acceptance to uh, to the efforts that are put in for these models. So to see the 2017 version is phenomenal. And even then King Leno's models back then were fantastic and it really shows how far the game has come to be able to create these type of models. The model itself, as always, is fantastic. Look at the level of detail. Again, I'm always a fan of the brickwork done by King Leno, but look at the Party City sign this time around. I love the neon glow. It's just an overall great building. Up next, we all need one of these in our lives, and it's done by Furious. It's the KFC Restaurant. The model itself is beautiful, I do love the modern look it gives and to have the famous face on the front really does add the character to this model. Fantastic building, a lot has been released from Furious lately and he keeps up, well he keeps on giving the quality levels the same, there's no drop in quality or design aspects, he produces beautiful models very consistently. Reviewing vehicles is something I want to do a lot more of and it's always been difficult to do cars but this fire vehicle prop pack by one of the best creators of vehicles, Ninja Noob Slayer, really does show the level of detail you can achieve in vehicles. If you haven't already, check out his workshop, he has got hundreds of beautiful modern and old cars. Now he's back again, it's our friend Dub with a couple of tents. First up we have the Atlas tent. So a very traditional sort of looking tent. It's just nice to have a bit of variation now. We've had a constant flow of beautiful ideas from Dub and he just keeps on giving. We also have here another tent type, the Two Demand, I think that's pronounced. And these tents are just a little bit more larger, more of a family sized tent, I guess. There's a bit more room to stand up and move around. But we're, I'm really impressed recently by Dub's work and he's proven he's not just a building, or prop person, he's also a vehicle man. Check out this. Now this is a very old Citroen style ice cream van. A beautiful, beautiful model and well, I don't know what else to say about this, it delivers ice creams and the actual model itself is fantastic. Up next we have the DIY Spy Agency by Amy Palizia Funk. I think that's how it's pronounced. But this model in particular is a modular design, very much like we've seen Geron introduced to City Skylines. And I just love the concept of this. You can really excel in your building and you can put these buildings together, you can use move it to mash into each other. It really makes your creativity flow, and I do like that aspect about these modular buildings. Next up, we have these BMW police bikes by Lembrana. 
Now we've not really had a lot of nice looking bikes in the workshop, as I say, lots of cars and vehicles and trains and buses, but it's nice to see some more modern and well, well designed bikes being released. Not sure I can class these as vehicles, but these cows in the red pack by Beard Monkey are a prime example. Again, we've had cows before, but never to this detail, and I love the different um, poses they're pulling off as well. Really, you can make your sort of farming fields look a lot more alive now with these more realistic cows. Very much looking forward to the other combinations he will be releasing in the future. Carrying on with the farm theme, we have another model by Beard Monkey. It's the Barn 05. There's a couple of people who can do really good barns, and this is one of the guys. Beard Monkey really does do a great job, and he's really doing a very good theme here for fields and farmland. So I'm very much looking forward to creating my own farm in the next series I'm going to be creating. Adding to the collection of the Bill Street, King Leno has released 197 to 209 Bill Street. And this particular model includes a number of assets. You've got Wet Willie's Bar, you've got a burger place, you've got some radio station, a rock venue, and some outdoor patio on the right hand side. But what I love best about this is not just the building itself, it's the sort of bits on the outside. You've got the little back area here where you can go and sit down and have some drinks at Wet Willie's. And on the other side, you've got another little terraced area where you can sit and have some food. But the nighttime view as well does really shape the skies. Now talk about an eye catcher. The Universal Rotating Glow by Swem Berlin has took the workshop by storm. It's beautiful, look at that. I really do love the detail in the globe itself and the fact that he's able to create this in a moving way does really shape things up. I really think that creators now are pushing the game limits so far that we are seeing some exceptional stuff and long may it continue. Also this week... And to finish the show this week, we have The Conveyors by Ronix69. In fact, I did watch the majority of this being created live on Twitch, and it's a sensational, sensational prop. 
and it includes both the portable conveyor and the quarry conveyor which can in fact be raised up 60 meters you can create a lot of different depth and angles a beautiful model as expected from Ronix. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's asset roundup. As always, please leave your comments below. Let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.